how are you doing? I hope you're having a really lovely day. Um, today I want to talk to you about a subject very, very dear to my heart, and that is the subject of anti-aging in your 40s and beyond. Because if, like me, you're in your 40s, um, you might have those moments where you wake up and you're feeling pretty tired and you look at yourself and go, oh lord, okay, I feel not only I'm in my 40s, but I'm hurtling towards my 50s, um, and I want to take action and put certain things in place. So I think about anti-aging, I think more in the summer months, because we have more skin on show. I also have this old vlog that I did about stretch marks, swimsuits and stretch marks, which is worth checking out if you're going on a holiday and if, like me, you're a mother and um, your stomach, uh, you feel, probably isn't your best feature. So I want to talk about um, things I've been thinking about, sort of to tweak my lifestyle regime, my skincare routine and how I eat and how I live my life. Um, just to give me a little bit more of a leg up on that anti-aging trail. So, the first thing I want to talk about is our bodies. A lot of this actually is focused on our skin. Um, when I was younger, and I've written posts about this, um, I had really bad eczema. Um, I was about five or six, head to toe, really dreadful, and it got quite infected a couple of times, and I was hospitalised. When I went through a lot of uh, treatment, both conventional medicine and also alternative therapies like homeopathy, it was explained to me, like, my skin was my third kidney, so if there were any toxins or anything in my body, they kind of had to come out, and in a way, whilst it was quite alarming for me, especially when I was quite young, the positive was it was kind of on its way out, um, so keeping our skin healthy I think is really important. So if I look at our bodies first, I probably don't need to tell you this, but key things that we need to be having in our diet, antioxidants, lots of berries, healthy fats, avocados, I love an avocado, um, oily fish, I'm not so good on oily fish but I always take my fish oils in the morning. Um, and the other thing I read the other day is fermented foods, um, things like kimchi, sauerkraut, stuff like that. Um, we all know, I think, that it's really good for our gut, but actually kimchi and those fermented foods are really excellent in combating premature aging. So that's kind of inside. Also water, I'm a massive fan of water. I love water. In my attempt over recent months to be <clears throat> less dependent on plastic. I've been, when I've been working at home, I've been making myself a big jug of water um, and adding cucumber and lemon to it, which is kind of my favorite combo at the moment. So if you don't like plain water, which I know a lot of people don't, so they struggle to get their quota, adding different flavors, natural flavors to your water might be a way to go. I mean, there are millions of ideas on the internet, but I have to say cucumber and lemon for me is pretty ideal. So with regards to our body and our skin, keeping our skin healthy, as I say, is really important. What I tend to do is I mix, and I've said this before, I mix a cream, so sort of like a low body lotion. At the moment I'm using John Masters, which I have done for a while. They have a grapefruit and geranium body lotion, which smells divine. But I also add a bit of oil in the morning, um, because I think my body needs those combinations of rehydration with the lotion, but also an extra bit of oomph. Now, I think I've mentioned these products before, but I'm currently back on the Mio range, um, and I'm using their firming active body oil called the Activist. Um, this is meant to strengthen and firm your skin, and I think certainly as we get older, um, I've noticed it over the last year actually. I look at my skin tone and it's not as flawless as I remember it, or maybe my brain's just going. I find it really effective adding a little bit of oil to a lotion. It just kind of gives it a little bit more oomph. On the Mio range as well, I'm kind of back on this, um, this kind of targeted cream. This is called Get Wasted. So this is for my tummy. Um, because I really feel like the fat on my tummy is just very different and I've spoken to a lot of mothers who have maybe their skin stretched a lot at the time of giving birth and also a lot of women suffer from abdominal separation and then it takes a while for the muscles to fuse back together. Um, so this Get Wasted body cream is really good. I mean Mio is a great brand. It was born out of I think Mama Mio which is for pregnancy, but this range is kind of just like jam-packed full of um, good ingredients to really target um, firming and toning and cellulite and sort of anti-aging and those, those stubborn issues that we have, so you need to use them kind of quite regularly. Okay, so now I want to talk about our faces. 
I think as we get older, but I think this is relevant even when you're young, um, in fact I might say this to my daughter who's 21, um, having the right cleanser prepares your skin for what goes on top. Um, so you really need to look at what you need to make your skin feel clean and fresh, but also it's almost like it's ready like a sponge to soak up all the goodness that you're going to put on top. What's really funny that just came to mind was I'm rubbish at layering when it comes to fashion, but I love layering on my face. Um, in the summer months, for me, it's all about vitamin C. I am a massive, massive vitamin C fan um, for products um, for my face. Now, I recently started using this. This is a Sunday Riley product. Um, it's CEO. Um, it's called um, C plus E Micro Dissolve Cleansing Oil. What's really great about this is you can use it dry or wet, and when you wet it, it kind of becomes a bit milky and comes off. Um, I love cleansers like this and I'm really enjoying using this because my skin feels clean but it doesn't feel stripped. Um, personally I don't like that feeling of um, kind of traditional soaps that really make your skin feel quite parched um, but this is a really good basis for me. I'm using the John Masters um, Vitamin C Serum which I love. Every now and again I walk away from it and try something else but I always come back to it. It just penetrates your skin beautifully. I read something really interesting recently where it compared serums to lingerie for the face and it said something like wearing the right inner layer totally transforms how the skin looks on the outside. So I think this is really important whatever age we are but when you're in your 40s um, and you want to look after yourself it's really important to see are your products working for you what is it you think your skin needs and maybe it's even go to see a dermatologist who might be able to really give you that extra layer of information that you need. So on top of my John Masters Vitamin C Serum I am using my Natura Bise CNC Cream which I love. Um, it's got SPF 10 in it so I will actually put a primer on top um, the NARS Radiance Primer, which I've mentioned before, which will give me a little bit more protection when it comes to SPF. Because as I've said millions of times, and I will never stop saying, SPF everything. SPF your face, SPF your body. Um, I SPF my face all year round. Um, because I think it is a really, really, really important tool in fighting ageing. Um, so just going back to my Natura BC CNC cream, I was saying that you need to really be aware of what your body needs, your face needs, and kind of supplying those ingredients. The reason I love that CNC cream is because it's firming, it's brightening because of the vitamin C in it. Um, and also it has an SPF, as I mentioned, so it's kind of like a three-in-one. Finding a moisturiser that gives you the nourishment and um, restoration that your, your face needs is really, really vital. And don't forget an eye cream. Um, right now I'm using the Elemental Herbology um, Eye Elixir, which is beautiful. And it's lovely for the summer months because it's quite light, but it's really, really effective. So the third thing I really wanted to mention was, uh, has been a little bit of a revelation to me. Um, earlier in the year I went for a blood test because I was feeling pretty knackered. Um, and actually everything was fine, but I found out that I was severely deficient in vitamin D. I have read quite a lot about this, and your body naturally absorbs vitamin D at a higher rate when you're younger, and as you get, as you get older, um, that absorption rate um, decreases, so therefore you're left with a deficiency, um, and you need to supplement your diet. Um, I've been taking vitamin D now for three months. I would say, and I can really see the benefits. I mean, I'm not saying I look like a 20 year old, but vitamin D is known to reverse signs of aging. It's known to be really good for combating stress, which has got to be a good thing. It can help also, and that these are other aging issues that we might kind of worry about. It can help stop hair loss. It can actually um, help create more follicles for hair to grow. It can help with weight loss. And also, it's very good for our bones, it betters our bones. So that's also a really interesting thing to get checked out, um, I think. It's really worth doing when you're in your 40s. Um, just go and get a blood test, see if you're deficient in anything, because sometimes there's one little thing that's out of kilter, and you take a supplement and you fix it, 
and then you notice a massive, massive difference. The other thing I really wanted to mention was exercise. I think when life gets busy and we get older, I've noticed certainly over the last few months, I'm not as get up and go and okay I'm going to do some exercise but actually, which doesn't mean I'm not exercising, but there might be some weeks where I'm busy or I'm tired and I, instead of training five times a week, I might do three and that's starting to niggle me. So I think exercise and being active is also really important as you get older, um, as we age. Um, it's just going to make us feel better and if our bodies are stronger and working better, that has got to help on the way to fighting aging. Um, so listen, I hope this was useful. For me, it was almost like ordering a lot of my thoughts in my head um, and just reminding me, myself of what I want to tweak and what I need to be mindful of. Um, I know the number one thing I need to be mindful of actually is cutting sugar or at least reducing sugar in my diet, which is a really sad thing because I love sugar. I mean, I really do. So um, these are some markers for me. I wanted to share them with you. I hope they've been really useful. If you know of a product or something that you think is really important for our diets and our lifestyle to um, combat aging, please, please, please do let me know. Um, and I hope you have a lovely day and I'll be back soon. Take care.